Well, I'm on my way. It's about 7.15 here. The race is over. The race is over, and uh, I wanted to, I had to load the trailer up with the babies that are coming home. Slipped out real quick while Jason was getting all the equipment on the trailer. Got some pizza. Got some pulp. We're good to go. Now, this particular little puppy right here has one full can of Red Bull in it. They make it that way. I never told you guys that. They have a million different flavors. I don't know if you have one where you live. But Pulp has this uh, Pulp Fusion, it's called. One full can of Red Bull in it. Maybe why I like them. Um, um, you know what? I was going to say that the horses raced rather flat this week. But we did have some horses that looked maybe like they finished flat, finished third, a couple of them. But really weren't. Now... I said to Jason after the race tonight with Tan's night, I felt she should have won. You know, when I moved her out, she felt like she had a full head of steam. Now, 55 and a half mile track is a big mile. And he said, just so we're on the same page, just so we're everybody's on the same page. Though the mare that won that race beat Globetrotting last year. It's a four year old mare that raced against Globetrotting her whole life. Tootie, legit nice filly and I was coming to her down the lane, so nice mare. I was coming to her down the lane. Yes, it was a bit of a mixed bag. We knew that when we when we entered Tanzanite Tricks, that this was going to be a mixed bag of horses. But she raced rather well. Um, I can't help but thinking the, the greedy part of me saying, hey, if she was in the meadows today, she's a winner. She probably was, but there's just no way of knowing these things when they're, when they're being shook out. Very impressed with her tonight. I'm a lovely lady, honestly, flat flat tonight, or today, um, I was very disappointed in her, to be honest, coming up, yeah, she gets stretched a bit in that final race in the mud, but, you know, we scoped her after, I was really worried they were going to say blood, you know, after everything going on, but there wasn't any, there was no blood, tiny bit of mucus, like two out of ten, that's very little, um, just flat, so I said to Tim, maybe run some vitamins into her this week, and we'll start, start her again next week, a couple of these horses are on, on gate, but you're not certainly, you're certainly not going to get many phone calls on I'm a lovely lady when she's a beaten third in 58? No. So I uh, need a bigger mile from her next week. Um, you know, Tipsy and Dixie was good. As I said, I just thought maybe I didn't have her in a great spot. The other day, it's exactly where I wanted to be. It just ended up being not the spot I needed to be in with her, um, just the way racing was. But for the most part, I was happy with almost everybody, even Mama Knows Best. All these horses raced good. They just didn't race awesome. That filly raced, you know, above her pay grade tonight. Now, I thought when I moved her to the three hole in the last term, we're heading to the winner's circle, which was a big, that would have been a big feather in her cap. But to even finish second, third, trotting 55 and four, 56 flat at Northfield, that's a good mile for that mare. And I was very, very proud of her. She's a, she's a likable horse in the sense that she always wants to come forward, right? Not a very expensive yearling you know, mediocre pedigree, you know, she always had those boggy hawks that the OCDs were removed in before we bought her, but just always felt like she wanted to, even when I come off the track with Jason Knight, he said she just feels like she's going to be, you know, a decent, a decent filly, but at the same time, we're up against it, right, we're up against that wall, so, um, it's getting a little dark now, isn't it, well, as I said, on my way home, uh, happy with Trixie tonight, a little disappointed, I'm a lovely lady, but she'll bounce back good, um, and then next week, I'm not coming here for yes on Sunday. I told Jason to find somebody. Six hole, two or three, maybe four really legit nice horses inside of them. Um, my only drive in race nine, which means I get home at two o'clock in the morning again. I'm not feeling it. So, uh, yes, it's going to need a driver on Sunday. And for next week, Amy and James are flying to Dover on Thursday. Will I come over here Tuesday or Wednesday? I guess I get the rest of the ride home to figure that out and to think about that. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I will by the time I get to Ontario. Thank you for the high beams. I appreciate that. It gives my video lots of light. What a tool. Um, <laughs> so anyway, we got the three babies on the way home. Thanks again. I've, I've already had a ton, of a ton of people email me about Harrisburg, about getting involved with Harrisburg. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, it just gives me a, a fair look at what's going on. I don't want to get to Harrisburg and think that, you know, we have all this stuff to do and we don't. 
So even if you're even if you're there, you're like ah, I don't think so, Anthony. I think I'm all done for the season. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But you know what? Drop me a line. Let me know um, whether you're in, whether you're out, and what your in looks like. Don't need to know what your out looks like, but what your in would look like. So thank you very much for the emails, the phone calls. On my way home, sipping on my shine, high enterprise, and magical Tom are in the back of the trailer right there behind me. We will be home at midnight. Uh, so if you are uh, any of the owners of those horses, they will be in Ontario starting tomorrow. Take care. I will talk to you all very, very soon. Have a great night.